My name is Lisa Kurt, and I'm an artist and an illustrator. Um, primarily, I paint. I do some mixed media work. I paint primarily in acrylic paint, though I do use gouache and watercolor as well. And the focus of my work is mostly uh, narrative illustration, narrative art. The way that I paint is I first start with an approach like how maybe a feeling that I'm thinking of, like melancholy or specific situation or something from childhood, a memory perhaps, or a story of some kind. Um, and it could be my own life, it might be in someone else's, it could be something I read, who knows. But as I'm painting and as I'm creating that work, other pieces kind of come together. And so there are allegories and um, sort of metaphors that make their way in and weave their way into my work. So um, nothing is as, as it seems in a way. And so there's always gonna be more to the story. And I don't get very specific in the way that I create that narrative. Narrative art really is storytelling and conveying a story and it could be a number of things. So for example, children's books is one primary way. Something that has inspired me in recent years has been this sense of responsibility that we wanna show more diversity in books, whether it's female or um, someone from a different background, heritage, or someone of color. I think that um, that really kind of struck me because being a girl as a kid, I played in the woods and I was an adventurer and I you know, did anything that a little boy would do. And I felt like I was a pretty well-rounded kid and interested in a lot of things, but I didn't always really feel like media reflected what my interests were. And that's really frustrating to feel like you're not, you don't see yourself. So this whole idea of diverse books, I think is super important. And I started to really integrate um, more diverse characters, specifically girls, into my work, into my personal work, um, and thinking about what their stories would be. I recently published my first children's book, and the title is called Sarla in the Sky. And it's a book that's based on um, Sarla Thackrell, who was the first Indian woman pilot to get her license and to fly a plane. Sarla's story is really fascinating because it was at a time when this is just so unusual like for women to be pilots really at all, while maybe the greater public and maybe other people were sort of like, that's just not something women do. And it's just super uplifting. And I know as a kid, I would have loved a story like that. I think it's extremely important for kids to be exposed to all kinds of art. And whether that's music or visual art or performance or whatever it is, the more you're exposed to, I think, gosh, like the more richer and more interesting your world is gonna be.